Hey YouTube, this is Sarge Random again, and this is part three. Just finished killing uh, the Heidi Knight guy, and we are um, at this point. It's a decent amount of souls, so what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go um, level up. I don't like wasting my homeward bones. I mean, they're not really a dangerous commodity in the game, or they don't run out that often. I just for some reason I don't use them a lot. I don't know. I don't know why exactly, but. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go back, and we're going to continue on our journey. Back to Jula. More loading screen, more loading screen. Um, but yeah, essentially what we're gonna do, we're gonna level up the... Level up my character, uh, in strength, currently. Get him up to ten strength. <laughs> sure, I, I, we're gonna get at least six strength, so I can wield the shield, uh, so I have something to protect myself. Uh, anything? High, I don't know. I, that's the problem. <sighs> we're gonna go up to eight strength currently, and we let's see if I have to go up more. But I believe the sword we're going to be getting is essentially the same level as the short sword we already have. I already have. So I can now equip the Parma, and I should. Uh, no, I can't equip the Heidi Knight sword. I cannot equip. So that's unfortunate. It's a good sword too, but I'd like to see many souls I get for this. Uh, Four hundred, eight hundred. Was another 400. No, plus another 800. So we can get another level. Should be able to get another level out of this there. one. Um, yeah, we got one more level out of that. So we're gonna go one level strength. The main reason I'm doing this is because the magic, uh, the sorcerer starts out essentially really strong as far as magic goes. Any any type of in hand combat, not so good. So, um, back to the, the giant forest. Uh, and I mean, pretty much we're going back through the same area. And uh, I'm gonna kill these assholes again. I mean, we can run by them, but eh, I probably should actually run by them. Not really in the mood to run by it, but I don't organize. Or I am going to attack these assholes. I don't even remember if these guys are playing ladders or not. I'm not 100% certain. But. Life gem. And we're gonna come back up here. We gotta kill these guys. Oh no! I'm getting lazy with my shield. I'm just casting. Should not be getting so lazy with the shield. And we all know this lovable douche. Okay, we're gonna go in here. Uh, and we will use magic to kill this guy. This thing will kill the hallway. Apparently his partner is not very bright. Oh, come here, buddy. Alright, so he's dead. There's gonna be one guy at the end of this hallway. And I knew. Okay, and there was a guy over here as well. You don't wanna go too far or you're gonna lure the other guy. You don't wanna lure the other guy yet. Okay. 
No, we can lure the other guy. Luckily, it's still two hits. Like, two hitting everything is ridiculous at the beginning of this game. And we're gonna get this little turd waffle. And we're gonna try to get this guy. This guy can get frustrating if you don't know he's there. Pretty straightforward from there. This guy, that guy is just the most annoying ass, though, if you don't actually know he's there. He can be kind of frustrating. Uh, nothing hard about that guy, and then there's this guy, and there'll be an item in this corner. I don't remember what it is. And I don't remember, I don't remember if it's this. Oh yeah, it's uh, Parry Shield, uh, which can come in any later for the boss. Um, right now, not a huge deal. I mean, you can practice your par parrying on the on the other guys. Um, and then there's this, and then there's this asshole right there that I'm gonna not intentionally aggro, but and we're just gonna waste it because there's a bomb for coming up. You get a witching urn. Which essentially, it's like the fire bombs, except it's magic damage uh, instead of anything, uh, instead of fire damage. So you get a bonfire in here. Uh, cook the bonfire. We're gonna sit at the bonfire, of course. Give us our thirty soul arrows back. And then we're gonna talk to this lady. Uh, she's the first merchant you'll really run into. Um, you're gonna want to buy the blacksmith key, which you'll. You, I'll use when we teleport back to Majula, and then you'll keep talking to her, uh, and eventually she'll say she's ready for a move, and she's gonna travel back, as you can see, uh, pick up the move, and now she's gonna travel back to Majula. Um, now, there's two options. We can go down here, or we can go get uh, a very handy weapon uh, for early on in the game. Uh, and Personally, I prefer to get this weapon early on. Uh, I know there's there's some people who played the game enough where it's not a huge deal, but um, for anybody who's looking to just start off, you want this weapon. And in the infantry, wow, you get the infantry axe. That's actually a pretty good weapon to get off right off the bat. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna go down the big ass ladder. And, uh, there is an item over here. More life gems for you. And we're gonna give this guy. Now, the aggro on these guys can be so fickle. And so extremely frustrating. Because you go in the hole, and then you'll aggro this guy. Um, the more annoying part is when you go in to get the weapon, if you can't target the. the Twats until they come up. So we're gonna run in this hole, and then we're gonna run out. Because it'll get this douche to hop down. And so when you go get the item, they're not. Oh, I missed. When you go get the item, they're not gonna end the shoot from behind. Um, there may be still be one, but not a huge deal. So we're gonna run up. And. They get hit with a firebomb, vulnerable, and so we are going to grab this. In my opinion, fire longsword. Now this is where I would sacrifice myself at low, such low. Pick up the proud knights and then run away. Do not bother killing the sal salamanders yet. They're extremely pointless at this level, and I don't even know if they're possible unless you want to spend lots of, like an hour trying to empty the dungeon they're in, and it's just stupid. And, but we are going to... We're going to take the other, the back way up, because there's actually a couple more items up here that may uh, help you out. Um, I know there's more life gems. So more souls, and there's torches. Torches, I mean, they don't come in... Uh, very handy until later in the game. It's, you'll definitely need them later on. There's no question. Well, they help later on. Unless you know the area, you need them. Uh, I mean, if you've played the game, of course, you know exactly where you're going to be going. Um, but 
for the sake of this, we need the torches later on. And then there's a human effigy. And then we're gonna have to jump. Uh, and we can jump down and kill him. Or we can just... Uh, actually, no. We do have to jump down and kill him. I forgot about that. So, uh, this is where a homeward bone actually does come in handy. But now we gotta find his stinky ass. Kill him. I don't think it's enough to aggro that annoying slot. And we're gonna kill this little puppet. Okay, so he's dead. We're gonna kill this guy. Shit. Last soul arrow. And he drops. Yep, we got a fire bomb. Which is nice, and then we're just gonna climb up here, ignore the other two. Then we're going back to the bonfire. Uh, okay, and that will conclude part three. Next time we are going to kill the boss, the last giant. Thanks for tuning in.